Hi everyone, so you should have received your weekly update with detailed records on each of your students' performance. I think it went out yesterday, but I wanted to address one specific and extremely important issue in this separate short video. Namely, you will see in the student records file that it now contains two new columns, warning and exclusion. So here is what that column means. So we already have students' peer evaluations. So each week we ask team members to evaluate performance of each of their team members. And when those peer evaluations drop below two, we get very, very unhappy. So one is very bad, two is bad, three is okay, four is good, and five is very good. So if peer evaluations are on average below bad, below two, that means that the student is not engaging with the team, is not basically communicating with the team, is not doing any work. And the reason we take it extremely seriously is because if the student does not put in the necessary effort into the project, then I have five other students complaining, five other students not happy, five other students complaining to their professors and professors complaining to me. So it is not something we can tolerate. And so what we do in these cases, uh, we send each student a warning. And so that's what this column is. So it shows when the warning was sent to the student. And then if the situation does not improve by the next week, we drop those students from the project. We tried all kinds of interventions in this case. We even published a paper that talks about these issues. So we tried talking to them, we tried coaching them, we tried not paying attention, we tried to uh, give them three weeks, but our record showed that it's in the interest of everyone to just exclude those, project, uh, those students from the team altogether. Because if we don't, the whole team suffers and is not happy. And if we exclude the free riders, the situation improves. What worries me most is that many of those students are concentrated within specific classes. So we had 79 students like that this semester. And as you can see, like in some cases, we have like, for example, one student for the whole class here. So not a problem. I don't see that as a problem. Again, one student from this whole class, not a huge problem. But then we have some classes where we have quite a few such students, and that's, that's worrisome. Then again, we have many professors who didn't have any slackers, but then again, there is one where we have quite a few, like one in five. Then again, most people never have any of such students, but then occasionally we then have another class where it's a large number. And so as you can see, many of these students, like for example, these students, uh, um, whatever the name is, right? So I'm sorry, this one here. Uh, so not only the team is not happy with the student's performance, but the student himself or herself did not complete the survey. So we tell, which tells me that the student probably doesn't even care enough to, to provide their point of view. So here is another one. Here is another one. So that's not good at all. So we have a few students who did not do the survey for whatever reason, but at least the team is happy with them. But I'm especially not happy about those who didn't do the survey, didn't tell us what's going on, and the team tells me basically that they're not participating at all. So we sent warnings to those students, and I hope it will take care of the problem. But if you have any students like that in your class, please do talk to them as well, because this is a big problem. And yes, starting next week, if the situation does not improve, we will start excluding those students from the project. So again, I, I am very sorry for being so direct and so negative about it. Um, I don't want to, you know, to be negative about it. But uh, the problem is it's a team-based project, and when somebody is not participating, we have a large number of other students and their professors who are not happy, so we cannot tolerate it, and that's why we take it so seriously. So please, if you have any students with a number in column E, warning, please do talk to them. Please ask them to shape up, uh, reconnect with their team, see what they may have missed, engage with the project, engage with the team, and, and start working hard. So thank you very much. Yes.